You ever wanted to ride in a real military tank? Well, this is the place to do it. John Bartel here, make a little pit stop at the American Armory Museum. This is definitely not a parade ride. The tanks at the American Armory Museum in Fairfield are no joke. We have a membership program. And uh, like basically, the bigger the member you are, the bigger the toys we play with. Curator and general manager Jeff Littman gets to play with a lot of toys here. Rocket launchers, motorcycles, and Jeeps. But one of his favorite toys at the museum is the British-made Abbott, which, according to the Brits, is technically a self-propelled gun. So like I tell all the little kid, the kids when they come in here, it looks like a tank, smells like a tank, it's a tank. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> You'll find tanks big and small at the museum, including this rare World War II Marmon Harrington tank. So out of the 65 built, there's only three left in the world. Now, just because some of the vehicles here have tracks like a tank, doesn't make it a tank. So this is what they call a rapier missile launcher. Um, it's a surface to air missile launcher. Just in case you're wondering, yes, all of the retired war machines at the museum do start up and move, and no, the firing mechanisms do not work. And that's a good thing, because all the kids at the museum are urged to play with the exhibits. You know, when they get in here, they get in the seat and, and play with the stuff and behind the weapon. Inside the museum, you'll find exhibits that take you from the Civil War all the way up to the Gulf War. And check this out. One of their prized collection pieces is General Patton's military-issued Jeep. Patton served in both world wars, and he was the first military officer assigned in the Army Tank Corps. He was in the battles. He's always wanted to be there. So he was a true leader. So his, his men really respected him. Much of the museum is donated or on loan by locals who insist on sharing their collections with students or young people who haven't experienced war yet. He wants to make sure that we educate our young the cost of freedom, the sacrifices made by our men and women of the military and, and why we're free. Well, one of the best times to experience the museum is on one of the live demonstration days where you can go for a ride or watch cars getting crushed by tanks. From the American Armory Museum, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back.